blood sugar is like this it's not steady we did a study very interesting study we pricked 10 fingers of medical students with 10 minutes in 10 minutes you prick 10 fingers and study the blood sugar if all the 10 readings are identical either he is a very bad diabetic or is going to be a diabetic but if the 10 readings are 10 different readings he will never be a diabetic in his life he has got a healthy chaos this applies to blood pressure also a lot of patients come sir i came yesterday it was 122 and today it is 120 sir so, so that must be something very seriously wrong i said very seriously wrong because your ecg is regular sinus rhythm absolute right right now right if it is really regular you are dead in real physiology rhythmia is death arrhythmia is health and this is your heart this is a healthy heart and we have been studying this for the last 25 years and this is what we used to do in the olden days of course first i started with medical students and ordinary polygraphs so as to have x axis your heart rate y axis your heart rate delayed slightly mathematically and then see how now of course we do it on a computer and see how now this is your heart rate this is the your own heart rate your own heart rate with a mathematical delay you see how it is a chaotic thing this is called healthy chaos so everything in the human body is dynamic Blood pressure goes up and down like that. You catch it here, you go high blood pressure. Catch it here, you go low blood pressure. There's nothing called blood pressure like that, except when you're dead. Blood sugar is like this. It's not steady. We did a study, very interesting study. We pricked 10 fingers of medical students with 10 minutes. In 10 minutes, you prick 10 fingers and study the blood sugar. If all the 10 readings are identical, either he is a very bad diabetic or he's going to be a diabetic. But if the 10 readings are 10 different readings, he will never be a diabetic in his life. He has got a healthy chaos. This applies to blood pressure also. A lot of patients come. Sir, I came yesterday, it was 122, and today it is 120, sir. So, so that must be something very seriously wrong. I said very seriously wrong because they are alive. And there are doctors who get 125 blood pressure. Have you seen that? There is no 5 in that box. They invented a 5. That box was invented by the Riva Rossi, Stepone Riva Rossi. That fellow, I am told, is turning in his grave saying that the abuse and the misuse these doctors put it into is something phenomenal and they killed millions. I have published a study just about two months ago, 1,000 medical students. What we did was we checked their blood pressure and then frightened them. Next checking, it goes up. Check their blood pressure and then other limb, you put a tourniquet and block the brachial artery, blood pressure goes up. Just check the blood pressure as we do, which, 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 and then it, which, which, which will go up. And then you search for a stethoscope, it's paining. He says, ah, hurting, sir. Blood pressure has gone up to the sky. You want that because everybody is labeled hypertensive. This is called white coat hypertension. Now, see this patient. This fellow's heart rate doesn't move at all. He is very steady, like the physiology class. Regular heart rate. He was dead in two hours. Now, over the years, what we have done is, we have put a CWT pattern. It's a computer thing, very mathematical. Don't worry about it. What, what I want to see is, I want you to see this picture. You see this, uh, see this picture. This is a healthy heart. Now, if you see the same heart that I showed you and see the pattern, this is CWT, a continuous wavelet transport. It's a very complicated mathematics. Don't worry about that. But look at the picture. It's a healthy heart. Look at this heart rate. This is a healthy heart. Now go to this heart. See? It's absolutely regular. All the pumpkins are in one row and this patient is dead in no time. You are a human cell. That's what I want you to concentrate on. This is a human cell. The most important part of the human cell is the cell wall. All this bilipid, etc. you mugged it in the book. All that I want you to see is this. This is the integral membrane protein which conducts things from inside and outside. But these antennae are there. The day you are made in your mother's womb, you are a zygote, one cell, one cell. That one cell is you today. One trillion, one hundred trillion cells. That one cell had this antenna and this antenna gets this message from the universal consciousness. You are born. The day this antenna stops receiving it, you are dead. Did you understand that? An anatomist studied this. See? Anatomist did not study dead body. He studied live cells. His name is Bruce Lipton, professor of cellular biology in the Massachusetts Medical School. What did he do? He put this inside in a live media 
and then studied it. Did not even go to the room, electron microscope room, studied, 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 and he found things happening. He found the cell becoming live. And Bruce was an atheist, agnostic. When he saw the cell becoming live, he completely converted. He became, oh, there is something beyond man. Up, up until then, he thought, man is running the whole thing. You know, as professor of anatomy, he was running the whole world. Then he realized, no, I am not running it. Someone else is running it. Then he realized that human life is like the television screen. You put the switch on, Hema Malini is dancing. Then you switch off, Hema Malini is dead. Hema Malini is not in the box, but Hema Malini is waves, energy waves for a dancer in the box. Now that same wave, you put, go to another room and switch it on, she is dancing there. Same thing happens to you. Dying is the switch connection goes off and immediately connects to another cell, another zygote. When he knew this, he wrote a book for you. Biology of Belief. Read this book, Biology of Belief. Bruce Lipton is the name. Lipton tree, you know, T. Bruce, add to that. It's a fascinating book. And then there is another girl who was doing a lot of work in this area. And she was, of course, she was to get the Nobel Prize. Her boss got the Nobel Prize. This is how, what happens, you know. You write the paper and the boss gets the first. This is what happened to her also, Saul Snyder. Her name is Candace Pert. But she, of course, fought. She went to the Nobel Committee, showed her work and showed them. And his Nobel Prize was withdrawn. But this girl has written a book for you called Emo Molecules of Emotion. It's a fascinating book. Nice book. Molecules of Emotion. Author's name is Candace. C-A-N-D-A-C-E. Pert, P-E-R-T. And this girl's book is very good. Now then come, this is how the ligand, the, the connection comes. This is the girl, Candace. This is Bruce. Now we come back to what work we are doing on this area of holistic medicine. We took this, one of my colleagues was the greatest scientist the world had ever known. He was nominated to the Nobel 21 times, but they denied him the Nobel. His students, two of his students got Nobel. He didn't get it because he praises Indian things and so he doesn't get it. He's an American. He converted himself to Christianity and lives in America with an American wife. Now, of course, he's dead. He's 89. May his soul rest in peace. His name is Rustum Roy. He was the man who was invited to the government of India to study the science institutions here and he told them all of them need to be completely revamped. Now, he took this from the Rigveda. Rigveda has this story called Urj. Do you know what it says in short? Water is the mother of fire. Water is the mother, father of fire. Agni. All energy comes from water. And so we said, let us see. So we, this is a silver mesh and we put water on that and silver nanoparticles get deposited. And we wanted to convert man into a salamander. You cut the salamander's tail. Have you seen that? Pally, pally at home. It grows. Your tail also grows if you cut. But only thing is salamander can do it on its own. For you, we have to help it. Now, this boy lost his fingertip. He lost his fingertip on 16th May 1995 in a machine. It went off. He didn't have money to re-suture it. So what we did was we covered it with a silver thing and put some water and changed the polarity from negative to positive with the 9.9 .9 volt battery. See, the, this, this, uh, on the third day, it is so clean. No infection. Nobody has touched it. And on the, on, after a month, it started growing. After another month, it started growing. Now it has completely grown into a finger. And if you want to know what it was like, it was like that. Here is a police retired IG in Madras. This is his foot, diabetic foot. And they wanted to chop it off. The man refused because he said, if you chop off the foot when you're alive, next Janma you will not have a foot itself, it seems, according to him. You and I don't believe it, we laugh at it, but he believed it, he wanted to die with it. So ultimately, there was a good surgeon called Murli. I told Murli, you clean it, let us see. He cleaned it, so we cleaned it and then did our trick. The man has a foot, complete foot, normal foot. Not only that, watch this. This is the foot, diabetic foot is always very fat. Because growth, insulin is growth hormone, hyperinsulinemia. You see the foot has become normal. This lady is here in the audience, sitting there. She came to with blocks everywhere. Every vessel is blocked. Blood pressure 240, 140, etc., etc. And see this complete block at the abdominal aorta just after the renal artery has taken off. 
So I uh, the same device, put it here. She is walking now. And she is very fine. But what happened? After three months, you see, like a horse tail, lot of new vessels have grown. And the runoff is so good. She has a very good femoral artery. Her blood pressure has come down. Her stroke has recovered. And she didn't have a heart attack because she was told that she will have a heart attack because all the vessels are blocked. And she is fine and walking about. All because her husband believed in what we did. And he didn't go for four bypass surgeries in the heart, in the neck, in the leg, in the abdomen. She would have been with her maker by now.